you're told as you think you are well what are you thinking about and, and i can tell you what you're thinking about i listen to you talk i i i i hear people in private interviews that they're instructing god on how to do what they ask for well if they know how to do it why don't they do it themselves i mean if they're instructed I can't believe that people want a God they, they can instruct. Absolutely unreal. You know, actually, that all of this is unreal. It's just a virtual reality. In other words, everything here goes, is there anything stays, anything at all? I think I tell you every time about the mountain, about the, what, what they, they, they built the pyramids to last forever and they're under constant maintenance. So, see, no, nothing here is permanent. Everything here goes away. If you're looking for permanence, that's bring heaven on earth. And that's what you're told to do, isn't it? Yep. Bring heaven on earth. If it isn't heaven, what is it? See, I thought it was impossible, too. Because I didn't even know what heaven was. I, and, and actually, I'm still not, I'm still figuring it out. But I'll tell you one thing: it is one journey. Uh, and, and you know, especially the people around you, you'd like to tell them. But you know, I, I really, I really did get a taste of what Jesus had to go through with his own family. And he says to his mother, "Mother, what am I to do with you?" Because she said, well, how, how come your brothers aren't? In, in, oh, oh, now, come on. <laughs> yeah, and it is a battle. I mean, I mean, actually, actually, we're the battle makers. <laughs> True. <laughs> see, that, True. That, that, yeah, see, that's what you understand. Like I say, uh, Pogo, the comic strip, it, it, I have found the enemy and he is I. It is me, me right here, right now, uh, the enemy. And, and, and I'm and I, I'm going around with him, chumming with him here and there, and, and he's the enemy. Come on. Can you choose your next side? You say you can. Suggestion. Don't stop. Because there's a thousand, thousands, and thousands of thoughts that go through every day. But you have to choose. It, it's you, you're, you're here to direct your own inner conversations because that's how your world is made. That's how your future is set up. Because what you're saying isn't falling into the past. I, I I was relieved to think it always fell in the past, but it, it, it didn't. It showed up in my future. And everything will show up in you. Nothing, nothing gets missed. You see, because well, it states it very plainly, every word. I, I, th I think that I think that covers the whole thing, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, every word. Now, now just think, think of this. Everything you're saying, Jesus hears it, God hears it, and it's recorded. You so you can't even deny you didn't say it. But you see, that's why we were left in innocence. So that we could know the differences that make a difference. And the difference that makes a difference is always with you. But you have to choose it. And and you know you do know it because you were left of a remembrancer. So that means you did know, but you forgot. But you can remember if if you'll sit and focus because what has your attention has your life. You know, that that statement alone tells you a story, doesn't it? It does. It really does. What has your attention has your life. Absolutely. So seems like it would be pretty easy to enjoy life if you're thinking on things that are lovely and a good report. 
and you do so consistently, persistently. I, I know you're not on all the time. Okay, I, I, you actually you are, but you're not aware of being on all the time. But what you are thinking and feeling about is also looking for you. See that that that. In other words, I don't care how secretly you say it. It uh, if you heard it. That's that's all that's all that's necessary because it's your word. See, you were given choose this day. And that's just it. You are doing so. But if you're not aware of it, <laughs> you know, look out. <laughs> oh man. I can tell you about some experiences, but I won't. <laughs> well, you know you're free to. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, no. I got a bad enough reputation anyway. <laughs> but the point is, look, you can change your mind and change your world. I mean, it's a, God gave you that to do that. See, it, it's yours right now. Right now. Now it is with you. Do so. And you'll experience so. And that's a guarantee. Whatever you're thinking feelingly about, you're going to experience. Yeah, see, that's, that makes you shake in your boots. You know, what have I done? What have I not? I have people say that to Walt. Well, what have I said? What have I done? You know, well, just cancel it. Yeah. You know, you got a, got a button on the computer thing, you just cancel it delete but do it do it completely let, let it don't let it go don't think about it even for a few minutes just just thinking about something you don't want to experience even for a few minutes it, it is sent that out sent out and 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 is drawing to it like images in your mind that are negative are positive but which are you thinking about see it's this it's that simple but you have to keep it simple because if you don't keep it simple you don't remember it and and i can tell you i've asked people well, 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 coming out of coming out of church what, what was the sermon about today huh <laughs> well he said something about uh, you know i don't know <laughs> yeah see it, 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 it sounds like I'm making fun of it, but I ain't. Believe me. Believe me. I, 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 feel so, I feel so sorry for them that it's right with them, right in front of them, and they don't see it. And they're making it up as we speak. It's always with you. But you have to shape it. You are the sculptor of your life. And you have to shape things. And you shape them by thinking. Thinking what? Well, I, that's the point. What are you thinking about? Because that's what you're going to experience. It isn't falling into the past. You know, I thought that before. I mean, it's, it was really simple. I was a little bit running off negative nonsense. and But, but it wasn't going into the past. I, 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 I met it in the future. And I said, wow. I got rid of that. No, actually, you don't. Because you, you might not, you might not, it's just a little flash in your mind thinking about it, just for a moment. But that's all it takes to keep it alive. It, 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 it's a meager diet for it, just a moment here and there, but, but it still keeps them alive. So you're still giving life to the very thing you don't want to experience. And someone said, well, no, I don't do that. Yeah, you do. And you, and it's about time you face it that you do. Because nothing changes until you change your mind. Change your, And that what, what did God say right off the bat? Change your mind, change your will. Is that hard to remember? See? But you see, the thing of it is, that's why we go looking for people. Because they they... I, we can stand and make fun of what they're saying, 
see and and we're we're entertained but you see when you entertain yourself that way that's you thinking feelingly in that way which means that's what you're going to experience exactly the same thing and you know how many times you judge somebody they're, they're doing something like, <laughs> and you say oh my god i do that and then 10 minutes later you're going <laughs> you're the same thing see? if you can catch yourself and that and 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 that that that's that's what helps with the battle for the mind is that you catch yourself setting yourself up for a, a disaster I mean, it could really be, you could be thinking of a disaster. And and you could actually be seeing yourself in your mind in that disaster. Why? You can change your mind and change your world. Yeah, I mean, you can start thinking of something like just, you know, can you choose your next thought? <laughs> that, that always gets them, you know, because they always come back with, well, yeah, I can choose my next thought. Then a suggestion is don't stop. If you don't stop, you just saved yourself. You're told to work out your own salvation. And the only work out there is, is just to watch what you're running off at the mouth about. <laughs> is, is that what you that's what we need to worry about, right? That's absolutely correct. Let me add something because I didn't want to I miss it. You said sometime back that uh you were speaking with uh, Neville and he said, listen. I'm not getting that you're on your own side. And I know that that's so true for so many people. And it goes back to what you were just saying, us being mindful of the scenarios that we're running off. But how did you get on your own side? What transpired once you had that conversation with Neville? Uh, that took years. Okay. I mean, I, I, you, you, you go through the file and there's, believe me, there's a really a big file of nonsense. And you go through and you just eliminate them one by one. And look, you already know what to do. Okay? Because God knows. And Jesus knows. And they're with you. And if you ask, see, the, the thing of it is, is that you're receiving not because you're asking not. See? Oh, you, you, oh, that's all I did. I, I, I was told, you receive not because you ask not. So well, I started asking. And I ask, and I ask, and I ask. But you see, you, you have to watch your feeling about what you're asking. You see, do I expect to receive that? See, if you don't, like I say, stay home. I mean, I, I, stay home and think about it. You'd be better off to go go prepared than that, to be unprepared. And that's what everybody does when they go pray. Practically, they're unprepared to really pray. I mean, whining and crying to God. I mean, come on. This is, this is absolute love. You're crying to? He, he tells you, you receive not because you ask not. You're not asking. You're whining about what you think you got. And so, by choice, see, uh, what, what, am I, what can I do? I told you, choose this day. And that, that, that's what you're constantly thinking about. So that's choosing. And someone said, well, well I didn't choose it. Well, you're thinking about it. You're giving it your attention. And your attention is the life of the idea you're giving your attention to. And that, that, that now, now he's got a right to. Because he's got your life. You gave it to him. But you have you can take it back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Come on. Simply it's as you think you are. That's all. It's that simple. And someone says it can't be that simple. See, that's the reason for the problem of seeing it. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I find that many people want to take God out of the equation. Is that possible? They just want, they want to hear this message, but they don't want to hear anything about God. Is it possible to live a victorious life without the entity known as God? Well, you know, actually looking for other people to agree with you. I mean, that, that, that's ridiculous. 
even if they did agree with you, they may not be what the voice behind the voice is saying. And now what my he's probably saying, you idiot, you know, but <laughs> which would actually be pretty pretty well stated because that, that's what we do. We we have we we form ideas, attitudes, assumptions based upon things other people say and on what's going on in the world. And then that's being of the world when you're supposed to be in the world, but not of the world. Because the world's thinking is is chaotic. I mean, you don't have to look at the TV very long to find out how chaotic it is. And that's people's thinking. Just like, just like the thinking that made all these objects around us out of the mind of man. The wars are out of the mind of man. All the disharmony is out of the mind of man. And if you want to join in with all of that, well, you, you, you're given choose this day, so go right ahead. But understand that when you choose to think that way, you have to suffer it. Absolutely. See, if you're thinking like 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 someone else who, who's think terrible thinking, you get to do the same thing. And of course, you can justify it for yourself, you know. I mean, you can justify anything if you really want to. I mean, that's no secret. I'm not, I mean, that's how we all lie to ourselves. We, we find ways to justify it. Sometimes the justifications are even come off, are even laughable. But I mean, even even the guy telling it to you starts laughing. <laughs> but he expects you to believe it. <laughs> And here I am laughing till he... Look, very plainly, just keep coming back to the idea that it's as you think you are, not somebody else. You understand? It's as you're impressed, that's what you'll be expressing. So if you're talking to someone and they're impressing you with ideas that, you know, you just can't really go along with full... Just drop it. Just say, thank you, thank you, and then walk away. Absolutely. You don't have to tell them that they're, that they're not right, because I don't know that would be an argument. And once you get, see, people want people always want to debate things. I don't have nothing to debate. I experienced it. And then if they haven't, they wouldn't know what they were talking about. So, and, that, and that's, that's, that, that's not ego talking, I can tell you. <laughs> Even he gave me up. <laughs> He goes, eh. <laughs> but he's always looking for an entrance, and he'll he'll find the least little crack in your armor to get into you. So, God said, I, "I'm your shield and buckler." I mean, he, he's he's telling you, "I'm right here." Now, I, I'm now, he, I'm right here, and and. I'll protect you, but it has to be your idea. See, I give you the ideas, but you have to practice them. In other words, discipline. Yep. That does take a little discipline. I mean, I, even to just sit in the silence at any, any length of time, that, that, that takes a lot of discipline. And, and people tell me, Oh yeah, I, I I did that, but it, it no, I didn't get anything out of it. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't put anything in it. It says, "As you give, you receive." So if you give yourself, then you'll receive. But if you don't, then you don't. I mean, I I don't know how they'd say it religiously. I can just tell you that's how I got it. Yeah, if it hadn't have been that simple, I wouldn't have got it. It went right over my head. As a matter of fact, listening. To Neville, even though he said things that really kind of excited me, there was a lot of other things he said that just just went right over. But they're not going over now. See, see, they're coming out now. But that's that little bit of discipline. See, yeah, you, you have to. It, it's not forcing yourself. You see, you, you, you don't have to force yourself. You, you just kind of glide into it 
I, I don't know, it says, be still and know that I'm God. He, he told you, if you want to know me, be still and you'll know me. If you can't do that, I mean, who, who side, whose side are you on anyway? You know, you're, to, you're told not, not to have any truck with the devil. I mean, don't bite him in for coffee or, you know, go to movies with him or nothing. No, see, because that's, that, that, that's his thing. And you don't want it to be your thing. But that's what he wants it to be, your thing. And all he has to do is talk to you long enough because, or you to listen long enough. You get, you're get told to be in the world, but not of the world. And he wants you to be of the world because it's in chaos. And he loves chaos. That That's his cake. <laughs> well, and he'll pursue it in any way he can. He'll get he'll get to you one way or another, but but the thing of it is, he always makes it sound like he's doing you a favor, you know. Yeah, he always makes it sound like well, we're buddies. No, 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 no. That that's having that coffee with the the other dude. So don't want to do that. Believe me. I I thought I was iron will. But that that was just that was bull. I wasn't. I got talked into things that thinking I I should have known better than that. Well you did, but you just didn't focus on it. That's all. You did know better because the fact that you feel guilty means that you did know better. You do know that's why you were left a remembrance, sir, so that you would remember what you know before you got carried away and into the play of humanity is drama, man, all of that ongoing, man. And, and man, listen, when you turn on the TV, they get at you, you know? I mean, always got to turn the sound down when those commercials come on. <laughs> So what I started doing is uh, I just turned the sound off and start reading for five minutes. And if that and if that five minutes catches me, then I just turn it off. <laughs> and and it's a no no it's it, it's difficult to do at first, but you know you'll find that that's that's very very helpful because I'll tell you what nine times out of ten, if I start reading, I'll just turn the TV off because what I what I'm reading here. See, I secretly know already. But you have to read it to remind you. I mean, it's like me listening to the, all these tapes. Hey, you know, listening to these tapes that, you know, that's a, that's an hour each. And and uh, three or four hours a day that I spend there listening to the old tape. But you know something? He says a lot of neat things. I mean, I mean it came through me, not from me. Okay, just so we understand that. But uh, I, I did. I said a lot of neat. I, I thought, did I say that? Wow, that was, that was something else. You know, I whoa, that was good. Uh, good delivery, boy. <laughs> See, the thing of it is, you do have to take credit for what you do. It's, oh, I mean, I mean, if you're waiting for someone else to give you credit for it. <laughs> They may say, oh, thanks, you know, but, oh, okay. But you have control. You can direct your own thinking process. No one, no one can interfere because no one can get in your head unless you let them. But, and then there too, that, that's a, that's still you letting them. You're in control, but when you let somebody feed you nonsense then you're out of control but you can take control at any minute because now is the appointed hour of desired change right now and you say no it has to be some special occasion no 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 they don't no they don't no 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 special occasion every moment is a special occasion if you see it that way everything is a miracle People say, oh, that was a miracle. Well, everything is a miracle or nothing is. I mean, come on. It, it's all God's. There's only God, so it's all a miracle. But what are you doing with it? 
why are you turning it around to not be a miracle? Yeah. That's what we do. We, we punish ourselves. We're told, blessed is the man that does not condemn himself for that which he has allowed. Have you done that? That's forgiveness. He offers you forgiveness time after time after time throughout the scriptures in a sentence. As you think you, that's, that's forgiveness. Because he gave you as you think you are. Now, he's not telling you as he thinks he's blaming you. No, no. It's as you think you are. So you're the one who is the foe. The enemy, as Pogo says, I found him and he was I. I mean, that says it, right? See, a sentence, a sentence says it. And, and it's the truth, isn't it? It is the truth, absolutely. You said something earlier, and I want to come back to it. You said, listen, don't take this on face value or just because we say it. Test it for yourself. And what I find is those who are successful in doing this work are those who test it. Yeah, that's it. You know, you can you, you can put you can put a plate of food in front of you, but if you don't eat it, you don't get any nourishment out of it. Well, we put these ideas there, you hear them, but do you accept them or do you just say, okay, later? Yeah. But then you know what happens when you say later? Later shows up, are we ready now? Well, well a little later, and, that's, and then it's gone. Just, See, if you don't open and quicken these ideas that you're agreeing with, yeah. because I did, I mean, I was agreeing with what I was hearing, but I didn't follow through on that. I didn't open it and quicken it. I didn't remember it. That's why they said to remember, sir. <laughs> so that you would remember, because it's a simple idea, as you think you are. There you are. Uh, how, how can you get around that? Huh? I mean, really. No getting around it. I, I mean, <laughs> right in front of you, right in front of you, you know. And and yet, but like I said, you can excuse anything if you want. You can justify anything if you want. Because you're told you have a valid say. So if you want to justify your nonsense, you can do so. And and you can actually live with it un, unaware. Of course, you don't see it as that, but it's just you being unaware. That's all, that's all the problems you got. I mean, if as a man thinketh and he's thinking wonderful things, and that's all he's experiencing. That's why I put the only in that statement. Think only on things that are lovely and are good. And I, I changed it to only, but but that's the way I got it because it was first person. You see, I can't think for you. I can only think for me. And you can only think for you. You can't think for me. Unless I allow it. See, no, look, nothing's happening to you that you didn't. Okay. Now, it may have been, a, like a the guy said, an off-the-cuff agreement, but you have to find something. No, look, God didn't give man the spirit of fear. God didn't give man the spirit of sickness. If you dabble in these, you're just playing with the fire, and you will get burned. I mean, can't not, not do so. The question is, can you take control of your own self-talk? I mean, actually, it starts out with you just listening to it. I, I mean, if you're listening to it and you're not, not not fooling yourself, you're actually saying, oh, I thought that. See, and then you drop it. If it's not serving you, I mean, you have ideas and attitudes that are not serving you. As a matter of fact, they're a, a great distraction to you, really. But why? Why Why do you have them? Why, why do you have attitudes that, that, that are not providing you good? I mean, why? You're given, 
change your mind, change your world. And it's your mind that thinks on these things. But you have to allow it to think upon them. See, it's always you. That, that That's what you would have wanted. Freedom. You have it, but you have to choose it. See, just watch what you're thinking about. Choose your next thought. See, even even that simple idea that people, you you said, can you choose your next thought? And they have to think about it a minute. Well, what's there to think about? Choose it or lose it. It's as simple as that, isn't it? It is. So what would you say to the listeners in closing? What's that? What would you say to the listeners in closing? In, clo in closing? Wow. I, I really ran off a lot at the mouth, didn't I? You're fine. <laughs> well, okay. It's all I am. That's what it's all about is I am. I am what? Well, choose it. That, that That's all you're told to do. Just choose. I am. You know, you want to be happy? You have to choose to be happy. Because, you see, the attitude of... The environment will not be always positive. And so you have to pick out what's positive, what's in your favor, what's in the favor of other people, and then just kind of shove the, the rest of it to the side. Because you can do that, you see. I, I know it's difficult at first, but you can do that. I mean, God said you can do it. I mean, he's the one told you to choose this day. Why wouldn't you choose lovely and of good report? I mean, why? Why wouldn't you choose lovely and of good report? And, and whatever that is to you, you know, and they're, they're not even telling you you must choose this and this. It just says whatsoever. But all things are possible to those who believe. Just move in and think from that one for a while. All things if you'll just believe it. And look at the things you do believe. Right? All you have to do is just look at the things you do believe. And you're saying, well, how is that? You know, well, we're going to get rid of it. That, that's what you're doing. You got a clean house. I mean, I mean, I mean, some people are like the hoarders. The mind's so full of nonsense garbage and but you got to clean it out and you can do so in a word that quick enoch just turned around walked on walked away he didn't even die and you don't need to either well you don't anyway but but the transformation isn't going to help you it's what you're thinking feelingly right now will be that future That, that, that it, that's the comforter, see. He, he lets you know if, you, if you're going right. Okay. But you do have to choose it. See, that, that, that's something you have to keep in mind. You're choosing your life. Nobody else is unless you allow it. But you have to allow it. You say, well, what about forceful? You know, yeah, but look, there's nothing transforming even in death. So you, you always get away. But the only thing you don't get away with is your attitudes, assumptions, moods. Yeah, you know, you don't get away with, with you, you have to change those. I, it only takes uh, change your mind and you change your mind up at well, the a hundred times a day, thousand times a day, you change your mind. You got to do this. And you gotta, no, I'll do this. Oh, yeah. So you can change your mind. Why not do so? Lovely and of good report. Only. That's what she experienced. They'll, they'll figure it out. 